That's it. So we've got heads in here. Come here. Sit. Nope, sit. Good. We're going to work through down with him. So I like them to be done on leash first. You can choose whatever collar you feel like would fit the dog best. It just depends on the dog. I want them sitting at my side. I don't want them in front of me when I first teach downs. I want them seeing us working together, not potentially ahead of me. You can take, if you've got like a pinch or a martingale or something, you can always slide that collar so that the chain portion's down towards the ground because that's the direction that I'm going to communicate with that leash because I want pressure to the ground, not up because I want them to go down. Hudson, down. Nope. So we're going to fix that sit. Down. Put a little bit of leash pressure. Good. And just wait him through it. He tends to be a dork. Stop. Nope. Heel. So if he wants to turn it into a game, a quick way to fix that is walk off and heel. He's got to gather himself up quickly because I walked off abruptly and he wasn't paying attention. Sit. Nope. Stop. We're not itching. Down. Thank you. So you can see he likes to play games. Good. He knows it. He doesn't want to have to do it all the time and he's kind of melting down a little bit right now. You. Good. You can go straight to heel from your down because it's still a very structured mindset. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Leave it. I'm not going to let him chew that leash. He already relaxed his hip. That's something you can ask for also. It depends on the dog. Sometimes I don't ask for it if it's going to turn into them breaking and it just makes more of a battle out of it. I will fade that into it later if need be. The second thing I do when I'm downing on leash, I have a big rule. You guys can choose to follow it if you want, but I never ask the dog to come to me when they're in a down stay on leash. And there's also a two part release from that down. So I'm going to call him up into a sit. Come here, lazy bones. If he doesn't come up into it on his own with his feet, you can just put him right into it as he, after he comes up. But then you can walk off into heel or you could do his release word, but that way he's having more weight on what that down command means. Down. Take your time, dude. Nope, leave it. Nope, leave it. Down is not eating stuff. It's not butting with the leash. It's still ready to roll if need be. And good. He wants to play games. Good boy. But that way my dogs know I will come all the way back to them if I've done a down stay on leash and I can go park them, go shop, go get a drink, something like that. And they know they're going to stay put off leash down. You watching the airplane? <laughs> off leash downs are more temporary and they know there's a difference between what I do in conjunction with them. Good boy. Again, I'm going to go into a sit. Good job. You can kiss to him, take a half step forward. We're not going straight up and walking, though you could say heel is fine too. Good boy. But that way he's taking a moment and then we can choose what to do after that. And it's not just straight from that down on leash into whatever he wants. There's some structure to it still. Heel. 